Alright, this might be one of those videos where I ramble just a little bit, alright? But let me set up the video for you guys. We're taking on Georgia. They're unranked, I believe, like 5-5 five and five on the year. After Georgia, we take on Texas, and then I'm going to show you what bowl game we are going to. Now, we're ranked number four in the country. It's very important that we win these next two games because you know how this game does this. If we do not win, they are going to send us to the freaking beef old Brady's Bowl or something like that, man. Now, yesterday, in yesterday's video, I was talking about change is coming. Maybe it's a perfect time to say goodbye. And I know maybe a lot of you guys got scared just a little bit because I know how much you love this series, right? But um, recently, I watched, like, the majority of my series because I started this series almost a year ago. Exactly, right? February 1st, 2015 was my first ever video of SAU. And February 2nd, 2015 was my first ever gameplay of this series. I hope I didn't say video. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But, um, <laughs> um, anyways, I just feel like it's time to change things up. You know what I mean? Of course, our goal is to win a national championship, and we're not going to stop until we win a couple. But even after that, I might continue the series and continue pumping out videos because we're doing two games per video now. We're going to knock out seasons quicker than we have before. But one thing that I feel like I haven't really done is showcase upcoming opponents and like who are the star players on those teams. And I haven't really done a good job of showcasing my own team. Like a lot of you guys are excited to see Brad Thomas next year, but Brad Thomas is a senior. So he won't be able to play next year, and I'm sorry about that, but not letting you guys really know like his story and where he came from and stuff like that. So I was watching the series, and a lot of players have come in and out. A lot of great receivers like Fabian Spicer and, and uh, Terrence McPhee. And then, of course, we had Mark Cole. And um, when we had uh, Ryan Ross, the big boss, Chad Johnson. Now we got Russell. We got Chris Oliver. You know what I mean? We got all these great players that have come in and out. And I feel like I just never really showcased them, you know, to the point where you guys can, like, get attached to these players, you know? So that's definitely something that I want to do. We're definitely going to stick with the two games per video. But every once in a while, I might drop a video where it's kind of like cinematic 30 for 30 E60 style of video. I'm going to try to do it. It won't be easy to do, but I'm going to try to do it. Just so you guys can kind of, you know, fall in love with these players, for lack of a better term. You know, kind of like the video I did with um, Adrian Smith getting suspended. You know, stuff like that. Stuff like Stuff that has a storyline, basically. That's what I want to do. I want to add more of a storyline into the suit. So, sorry for rambling for the past two minutes. But let's get into the gameplay. We're up by 10, but Georgia is starting to get a drive to go their way as they find Joseph on the left side. Big number 87. He's going to make the catch. And now they have this thing in SAU territory. There goes Holloway, and he is almost gone as he takes this thing inside the 10. And they have this thing set up at the 9-yard line of SAU. You. So now it's going to be third and goal. They go, what the guy? And that's going to be a touchdown for the Georgia Bulldogs. So even though Georgia's not having a typical Georgia Bulldog year, they're still fighting hard in this one. Down by three, but we take over. We're going to try to increase our lead. And we're going to find Finna. He gets in the Georgia Bulldog territory. Big time pass right there by Todd O'Connor. Now for the 43 yard line. Todd going to take it on the Zion QB keeper, but Georgia is all over that one. O'Connor with Tom rolls to the right side, picks up a block, has a man open. That's going to be caught by Russell. Makes the catch. And we got this thing set up first, then 10 at the 17. Y'all on corner again, third one to the left side. That's going to be caught by Russell again, but he's going to get stopped short of the first down marker. And we would end up selling for a field goal. Kick is up, and the kick is good. So the SAU Bulls are over the Bulldogs, 13 to 7. And of course, we're trying to impress whoever's watching this game to maybe sneak our way into the national championship game. So it's second and 11. Georgia's hanging tough. Only down by six, but then Dickens gets a pick. Nothing but green grass in front of him. Touchdown, Bull. So SAU's defense comes up clutch right here. Only up by six, but now we're going to take a 13-point lead. 20 to 7 is the score. They're going to pass this one to the flat. It's going to be caught by Williams. And Williams, he's going to make the catch. And he's going to pick up a gain of nine. Second and one. McCrimmon, he's going to drop back the pass. But now he's going to take off. And he's going to pick up a first down himself. But now it's third down. And Georgia's third, three for five on third down so far today. As McCrimmon looking. But those are picked right to me. Give me that Yahoo! Zay! Her! 
And we got this thing on back the other way. Third and 15 from the 50-yard line. O'Connor's looking. O'Connor's dropping back. And that pass was ugly. Oh, my goodness. So we get the ball right back to Georgia. They're going to drop it pass one more time. going to find Williams. Kind of bowls a man over and picks up a first down in SAU territory. The ball's on the 43 on again. Give it to the fullback who is nothing but green grass. Whoop! Nice spin move right there. Finally gets brought down by John Carter. So it's third and three now from the 17. Going over the tight end in the round with Joe Selby. He gets away from a man, and John Carter is there for another tackle, but not till he picks up a first down. Second down, and we send a corner blitz. That's Miller. He comes in on our dime packages, and he gets the sack right there, making it third and goal. George is down by 13, going to the end zone, but the receiver forgot his hands on the bus. So it's fourth and goal now. Looking to the end zone again, and they're going to hit us with pass interference, and that's going to give them first and goal from the one. So only down by three to get a fresh set of downs. They're going to take it to the end zone as they pass this one in the summers. And that's going to make it a one possession game again. So this is not how I thought this game would go. I know that Georgia's a tough opponent. Anytime you play SEC team, it's always tough. But Seth Bryant, he has the same mindset as me. We have to score as many points as we can to impress whoever's watching. And he takes this thing to the crib. The coach wants to go for two, but we would fail on a two-point try. So it's first and 10 from the 20-yard line. They're going to cough it up, John Carter. Forces another from the West is Johnny on the spot. And now it's second and 11. We hit him with the option. And my man Walter with nothing but room in front of him gets into the end zone. Touchdown, SAU. So 33 to 14 is the final in this one. A big time win for us. And it will actually move us up one spot in the polls. We are actually going to be number three. Penn State, who was number three, they had a bye week. And I guess our win was impressive enough to move us up to number three in the country. So we're 10-1. Texas is having a bad season at 5-6. and six. So you know I'm hoping that if we win this game, it can put us in the number two spot. So Seth Bryant, again, he has the same mindset as me. Let's try to get this thing rocking and rolling quick, fast, and in a hurry. First. 10, 10. Now my man Todd O'Connor going to take it himself. And he's going to pick up a big first damn move. Those chains for the SAU Bulls. Now O'Connor looking, looking, and he goes down. Todd O'Connor gets sacked on the play by Wallace, who is fifth in the country in sacks with 12. So third and 21 from the 34-yard line. O'Connor's looking, taking the shot deep. And that's going to be intercepted by Robertson. And now Texas will take over. It's kind of like a punt. So not the worst pick that Todd O'Connor could throw. He's thrown worse in the past, hasn't he? Now Gibson up the gut. He's going to pick up a couple. Going to set up second eight from the 31. Y'all going to give it to Gibson again. And this big running back has room to run. Finally gets brought down by David Walker. And Nante picks up a big first down. First and 10 from the 50. There goes Gibson around the outside. And Gibson, he's going to pick up another first down. So not only have we not scored in this one, but Texas look like they're primed to score. But Thomas says, get that thing about it here. So now it's third and 10 from the 38. Y'all on four D lineman in the game for SAU. Jump back. The pass has a man, and Hayes makes the catch. And now Texas is just outside the red zone of SAU. But John Carter gets in there for the takedown. Oh, baby. Let's go from the 24 y'all on out second and 13. Prior with Tom gonna throw this one over the middle and John Carter gets that Yahoo! Zay her and SAU has this thing going back the other way. First then 10. Andy Walter with the direct snap and Andy Walter doing work. Makes a couple of Texas defenders miss them with a stiff form and finally gets brought down at the 45 yard line. Definitely doing his thing. Andy Walter is loose again inside the 30. Woo! Makes a man miss and Andy Walter is gone. That's what I want to see from you, Andy. That's the Andy Walter I remember. That's the Andy Walter I will always remember, okay? You ain't fumbling as much as Hargrove, but my goodness, did you cough up the football this season. Second and six after they pick up for Pryor going to get the ball to Gibson, and West is there for the takedown. We have West playing outside linebacker, but he is a traditional middle linebacker. West on the blitz, giving chase, 
and he gets to Pryor, and Pryor gets hit pretty hard, and SAU takes over at the force of Texas to go three and out. Now Todd O'Connor gonna roll out, and he's gonna use his speed to pick up the first. Then I swear when he gets out of the pocket, he does remind me of a little bit of Tim Tebow. Now O'Connor dropping back the pass, gonna find Russell over the middle, and that's actually his first completed pass of this ball game. Maybe he kind of passes the ball like Tim Tebow as well. There goes Brad Thomas. He's gonna pick up the first down by the hairs of the chinny chin chin from the 37 yard line second and 10 Andy Walter gets around the corner and across the 30 yard line finally gets dropped at the 25 and that's enough to move those chains 4k's for a buck 08 that's flat out ridiculous going over the middle again to Russell makes the catch and the senior receiver is having himself a nice ball game so far as we're gonna find Seth Bryant up that guy gets into the end zone touchdown SAU 14 to nothing. Pryor going over the middle. Smith offs it up. John Carter forces the fumble. West jumps on top of it. And this linebacker court is flat out nasty. Third and two. We're going to give the ball to Walter on third down. He's going to pick up a fresh set of downs. Gets this one up to the 17-yard line. Third and one from the eight. Todd O'Connor over the middle. And Ware just got his lock knocked off. My Goodness gracious, that was a huge hit. So we set up for a field goal, making it 17 to 14. But Gibson, he has plans to bring Texas back as he runs through a man and gets this thing all the way in the SAU territory. Six carries for 79 yards. You know, Texas, they're known for having running backs. You know, Earl Campbell, Ricky Williams, Jamal Childs. You know what I mean? They've had a couple of nice running backs. Anyways, man, there goes Gibson up that gut. And Gibson, he's going to pick up a first down. First and 10 from the 11. Pryor with time. Throws it to the flat. Washington makes the catch. Turns up. Phil gets smacked by Walker, but still picks up a first down. Then Gibson does the rest from the one-yard line. Touchdown, Texas. As they play that class is Texas Longhorn fight song. I don't like that fight song. Let's make sure I never play it again. Anyways, man, Walter up that gut makes another man, man miss and picks up a first down. Now I'm kind of going to roll out. No, he's going to stay in the pocket. He's going to find Russell. And Russell, he's going to make a catch. And he is 4 for 10. For 36 yards. Been a rough day. Pass the ball for Todd O'Connor. But as long as we win, we are A-OK. -okay. As Seth Bryant takes on a couple of Texas defenders. Still picks up a first down on first and goal. We give it right back to him. And he gets into the end zone. The senior running back is having a nice game in his final home game as a SAU bull. John Carter, he's a senior as well. Gets in there for the takedown. Beautiful textbook tackle. We blitz again, but Pryor is able to get away. Miller is there to bring down Washington. But after he picks up the first down. So it's second and ten. Pryor taking the shot deep. And this time it's caught by Smith. And they're finally back in our red zone. First and go. Pryor going to roll out. He going to stop. He going to take a shot deep. He threw that way back across the body and connects the dots. And now it's going to be a 24 to 14 ball game. Seth Bryant on the case. Seth Bryant, he's going to get chopped down. But not until he picks up a nice gain of 10. Move those chains. Second and five from the 40-yard line. Seth Bryant with another carry. Seth Bryant inside the 30. Seth Bryant gets brought down at the 20. And now we have it in their red zone again. We can give it to Brad Thomas. He's a senior as well. And Brad Thomas, he's going to get this thing up to the nine-yard line. Third end goal is trying to get Brad Thomas one last touchdown at home. And we do just that. Touchdown, S-A-U. Well, that's going to bring this one to an end. 31 to 14 is the final. S-A-U is victorious. Now we got to check out where we're going bowling. But first things first. We have another in-season recruit. Another running back has committed to our school. And that's the problem. We always got so many running backs that people like Brad Thomas can never get a shot. Seth Bryant can never be a starter and stuff like that because of this overload with running backs. He might never make the team because I did not even recruit him. I gave him no points, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. My goodness. Anyways, man, we'll, we will be taking set. We will be taking on seven and four Rutgers in the Nokia Sugar Bowl. That's right. We're going back to the Sugar Bowl for the second time in school history. Hopefully next year it will be in that national championship game. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoyed bringing it to you. And another Texas Tech quarterback has won the Heisman. I don't believe he was a starting quarterback last year. I don't believe Tom Cross was. Maybe he was. Please forgive me if I'm wrong. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I enjoyed bringing it to you. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see you later. Peace. Hot sauce.